Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a Lively Legs Gray Squirrel Nymph. The hook that I have in the vise is a size 12. This is a 3 extra long shank. And I have a 3 millimeter tungsten bead on there. Before I start, I'm going to add a little bit more weight. I'm going to use 20 thousandths lead wire or lead free wire and we're going to put about 10 wraps on there and I'm going to push that in I want that uh, lead wire well to serve probably three purposes one hold that bead in place to add a little extra weight and number three help to give that thorax a little bit more bulk clip off that end there and the thread I'm going to use, I'm using Hemingway and this is some 6 aught dark brown the color of the thread doesn't really matter a whole lot we're going to start that behind the lead wraps and basically pushing those lead wraps into the eye go ahead and give that a couple of wraps on top of the lead and then we're going to bring the thread back to the tail I didn't bar crush the barb on this one yet but we're going to take this back to where the barb is hanging where the thread is hanging at the barb just about for our tail I'm going to use pheasant tail center and you can see there's kind of two colors on here but I want the darker stuff so I'm going to peel those off peeling off a pretty decent amount probably like 25 or so and I kind of want to tie them and put them together and kind of curl the, the lighter color onto the inside. I want this to be about half the length of the hook shank. And we're going to give that a couple of wraps there. Now before we move forward I'm going to take some, this is fine copper wire and it's basically a brown color we're going to tie that in I'm going to make that tag put that tag all the way to the lead wraps then I'm going to wrap this forward that will help to avoid any steps any large steps in the thread And this, this uh, pheasant tail was long enough, I'm going to fold that back and come back on it. That also is going to help with the taper and such. Go ahead and trim this off. Got a couple of lead wraps showing. There we go, we got it that off. We're going to bring that thread, keep that thread at the front. We're going to put on our legs. And the legs are the lively legs. And it's, although it is a size 12, it's a 3 extra long. That would make it about a size 8. So I'm going to use the medium sized legs on these, the 810 black legs from Lively Legs. I'm going to take the legs and I'm going to trim that front tab first. And basically I want to trim that front tab just about even with the front of the legs. we won't have to trim off any at the end 
going to hold this and I'm actually holding it on my side my side of the hook and when I wrap it's going to come right up to the top when you're when you're tying multiple flies with the lively legs it's a good idea to keep that front tab cut that front tab at the same spot every time and then I you know you butt it up to the bead and you'll have the more consistency and we're going to secure it behind that second set of legs now I'm going to remove that third set because that's too too much and I actually take these and put them back in there and then I use the singles tie tie them on two singles and then I'm going to bring my thread back to the tail and I'm going to uh, wax this thread pretty good because the gray squirrel is very very fine and uh, takes a lot to get it on there so having that wax on there really helps and here is the gray squirrel and this is just a uh, body hair from the gray squirrel and it was shaved off the squirrel this makes a very nice very nice uh, shaggy look to the nymph I'm going to take a bunch of it and you can't really skimp on this if you take a little bit like this and put it on there chances are you're going to lose a lot so you want you have to actually I'm going to turn that upside down so I can have my fingers out of the have the fly out of the way of my fingers I know I always say that you can always add more but with this gray squirrel you kind of have to put it on a little heavy make sure that you have a good good amount of wax on there make sure your fingers are moist whether it's with wax or your saliva it actually falls off when you're dubbing you can see the amount on my fingers here okay I'm gonna go ahead and line this on bring my make that upright again you can see how it's all picky or scraggly I'm gonna go underneath the legs now I'm gonna take that rib and wrap the rib three times I'm going to bring that rib up between the legs and I still have the the lead wire on a card here this is picked from an electronic piece of electronic equipment and we're going to go ahead and Twist that off. If it ever wants to come off. There we go. Put a few more wraps on there to secure that uh, lead wire. Now 
Now we're going to put our wing case on there. And for the wing case, I'm going to use a turkey tail. I'm going to use the tip. And I want the dark stuff, so I'm going to pull off a piece of the dark stuff here. And we're going to tie it in by the tip. And I'm going to trim some of that tip off first. You really you want the thicker stuff or the heavier stuff. Go ahead and tie this in. I'm going to bring my thread to the rear of the back legs. Now I'm going to add more th wax to the thread. Make sure that gets on there good. And even getting on my fingers, it, that's actually good because, like I said, you have to have that moisture in there, in your fingers. We're going to take the dubbing once again. And dub that on, and there you go. There's a good example of that uh, coming off. Maybe I had a little bit too much wax on my fingers, and it just stuck to my fingers instead of the thread. Wipe my fingers off there a little bit, and try again. There we go. It's getting on there now. And now because we have the, we have actually a layer of lead under there, and we have the rubber legs under there, and we also have a good amount of the wing case under there, so that's making it pretty fat there itself. We'll put a little bit more on there. We're going to go ahead and wrap this. You don't have to worry a whole lot about the top of your fly when you're having, when you're putting a wing case on. But you do have to worry about the bottom side to make sure everything is covered. It's going to kind of go like that. See how much I lose. I'm going to put just a little bit more on there. And actually that was a pretty good example of how how you lose it. I didn't have a wax section here. I'm going to pull all those guard hairs and stuff back. I'm going to take my wing case and fold that over and make sure that you have it nice and flat. And we're going to tie that in right behind the bead. And then we can trim that off. I'm going to use the nail clippers. Get that nice and tight. Make sure you don't clip a leg off. And now I can tie that in. Take my whip finish. And ahead and secure that I'm just gonna take my soft brush here and kind of brush that off and try to get the loose ones off got a couple of uh, long guard hairs I'm gonna
trim them off. Got to be careful of the legs. Okay, they're gone. I'm going to take a little bit of the head cement, put it right on top, even get some on the wing case itself. And here we have a Lively Legs Gray Squirrel Nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase the this fly or any flies that I make, please go to my Etsy page at etsy.com slash shop slash the Flyman Gym. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.